Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills and I'm here to talk to you everything Housewife Bravo and a little bit more related. And right now I have news for you from Real Housewife of New York. So for every one of you who already saw the last episode, it was a little bit cringy to watch, but also it was a little bit I mean, it was disgusting to see Ramona outing um, Leah's bipolar disorder. And then, like, as that wasn't enough, reports are going on that she is using that uh, issue, that mental health issue, to get Leah fired from the show. So, yeah, a lot of people were saying, like, oh, well, I mean, it's not like Ramona outed Leah, like Leah did a, um, a blog, you know, and then uh, she put it over there so it was already for the world to see it, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, okay, maybe she didn't out it, all right? But it was 100% sure that the world didn't know it yet. And come on, you, Ramona is not, is not stupid. Like. It was so obvious that she know that bringing this information on camera is going to be for every single person around the world to watch it. And that the real issue now is that she is trying to take something as serious as mental illness and use it as, like, weaponize it to get Leah out of the show. Now, Luan de la Seps, Luan made a... Um, she uh, did an interview yesterday and she, um, they were, they asked him about what she think, you know, about the whole situation. And then she first she goes on and she said that she that Ramona definitely crossed a line, which she definitely crossed a line. But then she said that she didn't do it like in a bad way, in a malicious way. That it's just that Ramona felt like a, a mother to Leah, and she has all this motherly energy towards her. So it was so hard for her, that's why she judged her and like, come on girl. We all know, we all know that the only reason Ramona is doing this is because Ramona is feeling threatened AF by Leah. Because Leah right now is the, queen, the people's queen. So uh, she's real, she's a millennial, she says everything that is supposed to be done, you know. And at this point, Ramona is just another character in the show, right? So don't take me wrong, like I used to like Ramona and I have, and you know, I have seen her since the beginning, you know, I have seen uh, Real Housewives of New York, like since, since the beginning, you know. So I always like kind of watch Ramona and she, she's like a little bit crazy and stuff, but she was always fun to watch and, and um, entertaining, you know, but now she is getting like, I don't know, she's getting like thirsty for fame or like, it's just like so, so hard to watch. I don't care about she being like out there or, or dating or flirting, like yes, she's 60 something, but you know, who cares about that? Like, you do you, you know, on your woman, ship, woman. Okay, like own yourself, you know, be happy. But when you're so using your platform, to attack other people and then you take something as serious as mental illness to use it against someone just because you feel threatened then there is a problem right there so uh, then also like they ask Luan like well what do you think that she doesn't have the same standards for everyone like you see uh, Sonia literally destroying private property property and you don't say anything to her Sonia getting like naked and, and drunk and doing whatever she wants in Mexico, you don't, don't say any, any, anything to her. And then she goes like, well, it's just like she feels so protective of, of Leah because she's the new one. And, uh, but Sonia there has been friends for like a lot of years and like she just used to it. I mean, come on, it should be the opposite. Like if that's your best friend for like years, then you should be worried for your friend your best friend for over 20 years, not this new girl that you just met. 
So it's just like, I mean, they're trying to cover each other, but it's just, it doesn't make sense. And Ramona is definitely feeling the backlash from everyone. She cut, she came out, she did an apology. She said like, oh, I didn't mean to uh, do uh, out Leah's bipolar disorder, um, blah, blah, blah. I mean, she did like a whole, you know, BS uh, apology. I don't, I don't know if Leah already uh, answered to that. I think she hasn't, but come on. I mean, at this point, Ramona needs to evolve a little bit, okay? And um, look at Dorinda, you know? Dorinda is being smart because she is getting that not only New York, but every single franchise is gonna have to evolve because humanity evolve, you know? Like, people grow old and, and the audience are changing, so of course the, show, the shows are gonna have to change too. So Dorinda is like, I need these coins. I'm not gonna be fucking up uh, millennials or Gen Zs out there. So I'm gonna be the cool uh, Karen or the cool grandma or the cool, you know, mom. And that's what she's doing. And at least till now, we'll still have to see. But Ramona, she's just feeling so threatened right now that she's gonna, I don't know. And I think I said this in another video, but I think we can all agree that the show will survive without Ramona. We, she will be missed, but she is like Bethany, you know? And I like Bethany more. So the show will go on and the show will survive if Ramona leaves. So she just needs to be more careful about everything. Um, yeah, so this is basically about everything that uh, Luan told on the interview. She went, of course, to talk about like her coverage show that we already know that she loves and she's gonna talk about it like a hundred times and they're actually gonna be shooting the reunion if I'm right on Monday so everyone is like being oh that's yeah this was the other thing they're filming the reunion on Monday right in person it's gonna be the first reunion that is gonna feel be filmed in person since like the whole pandemic start so everyone needs to be extra careful you know, social distancing, using masks, uh, everyone needs to be testing negative twice before coming into the show. Like everyone is like basically quarantining in their house, like completely alone. And then yesterday, Ramona goes on, on her Instagram and she shows that she's having a dinner for like, I don't know, 20 people. And everyone is also staying at her house. Seriously, I know Ramona that you are a Trump supporter and that you are like a full Republican and that you are like weird But like come on you need to be have more sense. I mean you are not young You're also on the risk group. Okay, you are over 60. So I think you should be more careful about Coronavirus and also like hello. You have to shoot on Monday like I just really hope nothing happened there because I really wanna, I really miss in-person reunions because those virtual reunions were bullshit, all of them. So yeah, let me know what you guys think on the comments below. Uh, what do you think that Ramona is gonna do next? And do you agree with what Luan was saying about Ramona? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Please like this video and please share. And overall, please, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to 1K as soon as possible. All right, guys? I'll see you around. See ya. <laughs> How do I stop this shit?